All right guys, so today I wanted to do a real quick look. I mentioned it in my update about the electric brew in a bag system I got, and this is from electricbiab.com, and I apologize, I'm recording this on my phone just for sake of being lazy. Um, and what it is, what do you get with it? Well, this is the 10 gallon version. You get this little controller. I don't know if you can read that or not, but it's a touch screen controller. Um, you control everything on there, it gives you all your readouts. You can program your brew days on there, you can set the target temperature. There's also a fully automatic mode um, that has programmed uh, mash temps, you know, um, add your hops now. It's got alarms in it, it's got timers in it, it's got everything. So this is basically the brains of the operation. Um, you can actually upgrade this, they do put out firmware upgrades too. And on the side here you can see there's a USB cable and I'll show you what that goes to in a second. Um, from the back of it, this actually controls your pump as well. So you get this piece, the brain, um, all the cables here. This is actually what the pump hooks into. This is what the heating element hooks into. You get this gigantic, it's like 10 feet worth of uh, really high end um, plug. Um, you do need a 220 volt. This has got to be at least 30 amps. I had this for my old uh, electric system. You do need that, and then you also get a, uh, it's not a march pump, it's a chugger pump, which I actually prefer, and I think the newer ones come with stainless steel heads, I think I saw on the website, um, again that's electric, biab.com, and look at this system, how it works and everything, but you get the brain, you get the pump, you get all the tubing, all the um, barb connectors, you get the ball valve, um, Obviously, um, you, one thing, you are going to have to put a plug on this. This just comes with a bare wire. You do, you do have to buy um, the actual plug, but that's really easy. You can get it at Home Depot, Lowe's. It takes like five minutes to install. Really, really easy. Um, he did that because of all the different types of connections, but that was the easiest way for him to do it. So that is a side note. You do need to be able to electrically wire a plug, but it takes, again, like five minutes. And if you don't know how to do it, just like YouTube it or Google it or whatever. So anyway, back to what I was saying. You also get a pot. Now this is the 10 gallon pot. There's also a 15 gallon version as well. Um, and it is, and what he did, he actually modified this. And I'll also explain this in a second. Looks like I'm doing some nefarious things here. I promise I'm not. Um, underneath here, you can see there's a sparge arm. And in here, you can see there's a steamer basket, and underneath there, it's actually heating water now. The heating element is down under there. What this does, when you put the bag in, it actually keeps the bag and the grains off the heating element, so everything keeps um, you know, safe, doesn't burn anything. And the nice thing about this is you can see right there that handle. Well, once you're done with the grains, you hook the handle. This doesn't come with it. I installed this, but again, this is like 10 bucks at Home Depot. I'm gonna put the handle on here, and this actually has a locking ratchet, so I can just pull it up, crank it out, and let it hang over the pot while the wort drains out of the grain, so I get all that you know good stuff in there. It also comes with a uh, really nice nylon reusable grain bag that's gonna fit right into that steamer basket in there. So that's pretty much everything with the Pico Brew e in a bag system. Um, again, you get the brain, you get all the cables, you get the pot, either 10 or 15 gallons. If you do, um, if you get the 15 gallon pot, you're gonna be able to do 10 gallon batches, no problem. Five gallons is enough for me, so I got the 10 gallon one. Obviously, it comes with the pump, all the tubing. You're basically ready to go with the one caveat being you're gonna have to install the plug, but again, that only takes about five minutes. What you can also do, and I wanted to, and it also has LEDs, um, which is cool. Uh, shows you when the heater is on, as well as a thermo well, and I don't want to pull this out because I'm heating out right now, but this just slides right in there. The newer setup actually goes right into the liquid, um, which is actually better, but this works pretty well, as pretty good as well. Now, um, the nice thing that I prefer, um, rather than use the touch screen on here, just because I got fat fingers and it's a pretty small screen, but it does work, um, you can actually hook this up to your laptop. It comes with proprietary software. You can actually see right there. USB right from the computer into the brain, and it actually powers it. You don't even need power to that. You can plug it right into the USB, and the USB port powers it. Um, and you can control everything from here. So if you can see, and I hope this is clear, um, on the left side over there, all your default parameters, that's actually how you set up your brew day. 
So I can actually go in here um, and set a strike temp, mash temp, a bunch of different, you know, you can set up pretty much as many mashes as you want. Your boil time, finish hop times, uh, this is um, all the kind of programming stuff. Um, and then once you have all that programmed in, and you can program in as much as you can put it in manual mode, like I have it and pretty much program in whatever you need, you just hit start brewing, and then it's gonna bring up uh, different prompts as far as what you do. You know, it'll tell you add water, um, add grains, uh, add your first uh, hop addition or whatever. Um, you can also adjust the temperature here. I'm gonna, I'll show, I'll show you. So is that 210? I'm gonna put it at 165. And it should adjust. There it is. So now it'll stop right at 143, 147. Currently, it'll stop at 165. So if you, you know, wanted the dough in or whatever, you could do it then. Um, you can see here, you know, it tells you how many minutes remaining in your mash. Uh, you can turn the heater on and off by double clicking. And I'll show you. I didn't want to have the pump on right away, uh, but the way the brew in a bag works is basically, you know, you recycle. You basically recycle the wort through. Um, the whole time and it monitors the temperature so I'll show you how the spar arm works here and I apologize for the noise I am going to be doing a full review of this system. I haven't actually brewed on it yet That's coming up this weekend. What I'm doing now is I'm just going to run some PBW through the system get it all clean and nice and clean uh, But just to show you how it actually works and it's going to be noisy So I'll stop talking and end it here. So what I'm going to do is double click the pump on Okay So you see the pump just came on and this is what it looks like in there. If you can see that. Oh, well you get the idea. But yeah, the... See that? So your grains normally would be in there and it would cycle through the grains. So it's very cool stuff. Um, again, if you want to just turn it off, all you do, go over here, double click, and it's off. So very cool. Um, again, electricbiab.com if you guys want to see pricing. You know, that it's... For what it is, it's actually really affordable. It's a ready, up and ready electric system, ready to go out of the box. Um, works like a charm, and you can see the heating elements kind of winding down here, fluctuating a little bit just to get the temperature. So it's a very cool system. I highly recommend you guys check it out. And again, stay tuned for a full review as well as a brew day on it. So until next time, guys. Cheers.